Aha, here we go. Nice and ripe. That's one vegetable picked. Hey, Skye, what you doing? I'm picking vegetables for my vegetable garden. Wanna help? Sure, sounds fun. Okay, well they're growing in the ground. Like this carrot. Ooh, look, I found a pickle. Rubble, that's a cucumber, not a pickle. Pickles don't grow in the wild, you have to make them. Hey, I found a radish. Ooh, and an eggplant. Here you go, Sky. And here's your pickle cumber. Rubble. What? I calls them like I sees them. Well, guys, thanks for helping me pick all my vegetables for my garden. Hey, pups. Nice vegetables. Thanks, Ryder. We picked them ourselves. Wow, awesome. Hey, I have an idea. How about we have a picnic with them? Oh, yeah. I love picnics. All right. Sky, bring me the vegetables in the kitchen, and I'll wash them off and fix you guys some food. Meanwhile, you boys can set out the picnic blanket. You got it, Ryder. Yeah, we're on it. Here you go, Ryder. Thanks. While I'm doing this, can you help the boys with the picnic blanket? Sure. They probably do need my help. All right. Now let's turn the sink on so we can wash these vegetables. How about we start with the cucumber? It's pretty dirty from the soil, so let's give it a rinse. There, it's washing right off. Now let's use an apple sponge to get the last bits of dirt off. And there, nice and clean. Next up, we'll wash off this hot pepper. Wow, the water just washes all that dirt away. For the pepper, we'll use a kiwi sponge. Perfect. Now let's wash off this radish. It looks really dirty. Wow, the water's cleaning it off instantly. All right, now to sponge it off. For this one, we'll use our strawberry sponge. Oops, it's got a little more dirt here. Let's get that with the sponge. They are nice and clean. Next up is this big fat eggplant. They don't really look like eggs, do they? More like a big purple pickle. Either way, we'll get it clean. Now for this one, we'll use our watermelon sponge. It's pretty cute, isn't it? It's even got little seats just like a real watermelon. And it's doing a great job polishing up our eggplant. There, look how clean it is. And now my favorite vegetable for last, the carrot. Did you know that the orange part of a carrot is its root? So when you're eating a carrot, you're actually eating roots. And since a carrot is orange, we'll use our orange sponge to clean it off. There we go. All of our vegetables are clean. So let's turn the faucet off so we don't waste water. Then I can take our vegetables and cook them on the stove. All right, time to cook our vegetables. And now just to make a few more things while the pups get ready for the picnic. Boy, it sure was a great idea to have a picnic today. Yeah, and all we have to do is pitch this blanket. That'll be easy. Grab a corner, everyone. Got one. Me too. Um, guys, I don't see a corner. Rubble, what's going on? Um, I think I may be lost. Rubble, go towards the light. I don't see a light. Is that a problem? Ugh, this might be harder than I thought. Hey, boys, how's it going? Good, good, thanks for asking. Rubble, this isn't working. You look like a burrito. Uh, looks like you guys are having some problems. Ugh, you can say that again. Rubble, how about you go help Ryder? I'll take it from here. Okay, see yourself. Ah, the blanket. Yep, got it. Whoa! Thanks, I'm not a burrito anymore. Oh. Now to make the pups the ultimate sandwich for their picnic. What you doing? Oh, hi, Rubble. I was just making a sandwich. Ooh, hold on. Can I help? Rubble, how did you change clothes so fast? I don't know. I just did. Hey, what's this? Um, 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 Rubble, huh? What? You're getting the food all dirty. Oh, sorry. I just want to help. And the picnic blanket was too complicated. Here, let me get these for you. Oops, they fell down for some reason. Rubble, handling food properly is hard to do. It's best to let grown-ups do it. But I'm not a grown-up. Exactly. Oh. But I want to help. 
Give me something to do. Well, how about you go outside and uh, count all the grass for me? Ooh, count all the grass. Sounds fun. See you later. Hopefully that keeps Rubble busy for a while. Now we can start our sandwich. So let's get our tray here. And the first ingredient that you need to make any sandwich is bread. So let's get our sesame seed bun here and put it on the tray. Our sandwich is gonna have three kinds of cheese. So let's get them all together so we can put them on our slicer. Now we can use it to cut our cheese into thin slices. But first I'll add a cutting board so we don't make too big of a mess. All right, let's get slicing. That's one slice, two slices. Hey, this is pretty fun. Three, four, five, and six. Now we don't need all six slices, but we will add one of each type, starting with American cheese, and my favorite, cheddar, and finally, Swiss cheese. You can always tell Swiss cheese by the holes. Now we'll take the rest of the slices and put them back so we're not wasting food. And now we can start adding the meats to our sandwich. And let's start by adding one slice of roast beef to our slicer. One slice should do it. There we go. All right, our slice of roast beef looks really good. Let's add it to the sandwich. The next meat we'll add to the sandwich is some ham. All right, let's put it in the slicer and cut a slice. Wow, it looks like this ham wants to do some tricks for us. All right, now that it's calmed down, let's put it on the sandwich. And the next thing we need for our sandwich is a slice of chicken. All right, now that we got our slice, let's put it on there with the rest. Wow, our sandwich is looking great, but it needs more toppings. We'll start by adding some black olives. They look kind of weird to try, but they're actually really good. Next up for our sandwich are a couple of slices of onions. I'm not a big fan of onions, but the pups love them. After our onions, we'll add two slices of tomatoes. Did you know that tomatoes are used to make ketchup? Now we're gonna give our sandwich some green in the form of two leaves of lettuce. Then we'll add a couple slices of cucumbers on this side and two slices of pickles on the other. Then we'll add on some nice crispy slices of bacon. Bacon's not healthy, but boy, it's good. Now for our condiments, some mustard, <laughs> ew, and some mayo, <laughs> gross. A little bit of salt and pepper. And finally, some oil and vinegar, but not too much. Now let's put the lid on our sandwich because it is done. Now the pups might like a couple snacks. So let's turn our sandwich stand around and see what we got. Ooh, look at the choices. We have a chocolate chip cookie for anyone with a sweet tooth. And some healthy baked veggie chips for anyone craving something salty. And it looks like there's a drink dispenser here. So let's try the fruit punch. Wow, it looks really good. Now let's go check on our veggies. Wow, look at that. It looks like our vegetables are nice and tender. And now one last thing and our picnic will be ready. We'll use this blender to make a nice, healthy fruit juice. Let's get everything set up. There we go. The first ingredient we need is one slice of apple. So let's cut it into fourths. That means four equal parts. This slice will be good. Let's add it in. All right, let's clean these up. And now we'll need a slice of juicy watermelon. In the blender it goes, seeds and all. Our fruit juice recipe calls for just a few grapes. That'll be enough. And finally, one slice of dragon fruit. If you've never had dragon fruit before, you should try it, it's delicious. And check that out. They look cool on the inside too. All right, now it's time to blend them up into a juice. All right, all done. Awesome, that looks delicious. And with our sandwich, everything's ready for the pups. So let's go bring it to them. 
5,211. 5,200. Ooh, a butterfly. Aw, oh, man, where was I? I have to start over. One, two. Here you go, pups. Your picnic food is all ready. I hope you guys like the food. Hey, where's Rubble? Rubble, stop counting grass and come on and eat. Ooh, eating's way better than counting grass. Boy, you said it, Rubble. Hey, these veggie chips are pretty good. And this fruit juice is delicious. Ah, uh, I just wish I could have helped make the delicious food. But Rubble, you helped us with the most important thing of all. You helped us laugh. I did, didn't I? Well, you're welcome. Thanks, Rubble. And thanks, everyone, for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Bye, everyone. See you next time.